What do you learn in a fashion school? It's sewing, design, business and everything in between. Most fashion schools will go above teaching you how to use a needle and thread. Sure, you'll become proficient in the necessities, design, pattern making, sewing and twilling, but you can expect to earn a skill set that reaches far beyond just drawing or sewing. Is fashion school necessary? Contrarily your career in fashion doesn't need to begin with a degree either. The key is to evaluate yourself and just how much you're willing to invest in your career and above all else keep learning. Is fashion a good career? Employment for fashion designers overall is expected to grow by only about 3% over the next 10 years, which is slower than the average growth projected for all occupations between 2016 and 2026. A formal education, an excellent portfolio, and experience in the industry can increase your employment prospects. Is a fashion degree useless? It is totally worth it if you want a career in fashion designing. If you want a job or start your own business, you need a degree for knowledge in this field. It's as necessary as studying engineering for becoming an engineer or studying medicine to become a doctor. Who is the best fashion designer in Ghana? Below are the five most influential Ghanaian fashion designers making Africa proud. Shabi Abina, Shama Bru, Duaba Sirwa, Ohene Yaboma, Abranti Clothing, Tanyi Senia, Horseman Shoes, which is the best school for fashion in Ghana. Anjalo Institute is a center of arts with a mission to train, empower, and provide entrepreneurial skills in areas of fashion design, information technology, IT, and creative arts. It was established in the year 1996 by Mrs. Angelina Mady with the aim of providing a stimulating and challenging learning environment that allows students unearth their talents and explore their potentials which would enable them operate effectively in the changing and highly competitive world of business. Vision to be the market leaders in providing practical first-hand entrepreneurial professional training courses and quality products in Ghana and beyond. Mission Our mission is to train, empower, and provide entrepreneurial skill in the areas of fashion design, creative arts and information communication technology, ICT. Setting the pace since 1996 join our upcoming class at Angelo Institute and begin your career in fashion design, creative arts and information and communications technology. Fashion design courses, pattern making suit making draping millinery and dress accessories fashion illustration computer designing and fashion creative arts courses, ICT courses, special fashion short courses. Find below our program schedules and course details pattern drafting, adaptation, alteration and grading, textiles, modeling slash drapery, millinery and dress accessories, business affairs, garment construction, gents wear suits ladies wear bridal management, two years, six terms, eight m to two pm two suits, ladies and gents suits, ladies and gents, pattern making, freehand cutting, six months Monday to Friday, two p.m. to six pm, weekend, Saturday colon 10 colon and taupe. Sunday colon 2 to 6 p.m. 3 bridal management pattern making, freehand cutting, evening wear, wedding gown, 6 months Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Weekend, Saturday colon 10 colon am team. Sunday colon 2 to 6 p.m. Optional fashion courses floral arrangement slash decoration hat making footwear, bead making bag making. Angelo Institute organizes Maiden Street Fashion Show Fashion is very important. It is life enhancing and like everything that gives pleasure, it is worth doing well, Vivian Westwood. That is why Angelo Institute of Fashion has taken it to a new level through street fashion activities. The Institute launched its maiden edition of street fashion exhibition to showcase intricate Ghana in and African designs created by its students. This street fashion event show was dubbed Angelo Fashion to the World and Apos. The program was held to project the creative talent and skills of its students to tamer residents and Ghanaians at large as fashion show is an integral part of the school's curricula. The show served as a platform to promote new talent for the future of creative design and bridging the gap between graduation and employment challenges facing many graduates. According to Madam Angelina Mady, CEO of the school, the main objective of the program was to produce entrepreneurs to take up their own mantle in the business world after graduating, whilst also seeking to empower them to be able to market their products in Ghana and beyond. The street fashion show brought a unique international presence into the Ghanaian creative industry through some of the creative works exhibited by the students. The event which drew a large crowd of fashion enthusiasts and passers-by started with brand activation at the pavement of Tama Metropolitan Assembly and saw students displaying some of their unique creations and products like bridal wear, office wares, caftans, accessories among others. The program was complemented with the distribution of flyers to commuters and passers-by by students amidst music and dancing. The institute also used the occasion to recruit interested new students who were offered a 20% discount on fees as part of the promotion. Angelo Institute organizes Stand Still Fashion in London, U.African fashion is really taking its own turn. The continent is rising and that gives us a better chance to tell our stories.
Africa's focus on individualism and our ability to be creative gives us the strength to tell our story through clothes and creative arts. It is on this premise of Africanalism that a fashion show themed Stand Still Fashion UK event was organized to promote this cultural diversity, beauty, and strengths of our fashion and creative arts. This was organized by Madame Angelina Marty who has stayed true to her brand signature through Angelo Institute where colorful clothes are made depicting the strength and creativity of an African woman. Motivated by the lack of African representation on the global fashion scene, Angelina Marty believes it's time for African fashion to be promoted and given a place on the global stage where our fashion and creative arts can tell the story of Africa. Africa has creative ideas, Africa is proud, Africa is bold and Africa is colorful and that was the inspiration behind her Stand Still fashion show. Through fashion, the world should be ready to see what Africa has to offer in this fashion show which took place in London, UK was where all this action was. Abranti College is a creative arts institution which offers fashion and designing, hair technology, beauty therapy, and generic studies. Since its inception in November 2007, it has produced over 8,000, 8,000 practitioners with majority managing their own businesses. It is currently accredited by COTVET, GESNVTIY and TEO and affiliated to NAVTI, FEPTAG, NIM and P CABAC. Mission to provide first-class grooming services to our clients and excellent education to our students that will impact on the socio-economic development of the youth. Vision to be a world-class institute with a niche, that will lead us in providing the creative arts industry with the best products and spread our tentacles worldwide. Core values client-focused, excellence, industry-focused, timely and accurate, trustworthy, international, regular courses fashion and design free hand cutting, patent drafting, beading, fascinators, bag making, shoe making, dressmaking, suit slash jacket, trousers, embroidery, shirt, skirt, bridal wear, etc. Hair technology hair extensions, hair cutting, hair coloring, and treatments, braids, hair styling, natural hair care, beauty therapy facial treatment, nail extension, pedicure, manicure, makeup artistry, eye enhancement, body massage, skin care, cosmetology short programs, skills enhancement courses fashion and design skirts, blouses, dresses, trousers, jacket slash coats, bridal wares, bags, fascinators, jewelry beading, hair technology cosmetic products formulation, wet styling, competition styling, chemical relaxin, perming, scalp treatment hair cutting, basic hair styling, long hair styling, thermal styling, bridal hair styling, variety of hair extensions, braids, hair treatments, male grooming, beauty therapy cosmetic products formulation, eye technology, SPA treatments, manicure and pedicure, makeup artistry, nail technology, facial therapy and skincare, bridal care services, massage treatments, Swedish, deep tissue, hot stone, lymphatic drainage, Indian head, oil blending, shiatsu. Abranti College of Cosmetology is an ultra-modern chain of salons and cosmetology school that is making unprecedented strides in the beauty industry. It started with a salon some 15 years ago in a humble neighborhood at Community 7, Tama. The institution is located at WBHA 152, Botsona Crescent, Spintex Road, 230 meters behind EcoBank, Tama. The college is affiliated to the institutions below. I Professional Cosmetology and Beauty Therapy Association of Ghana, P. Kabag 2 Ghana National Vocational Training Institute, NAPTI 3 Ghana Hairdressers and Beautician Association, GABA. Several courses are available at the departments below. Creative Arts Skill Enhancement Cosmetology. The institute aims at producing professionals through its mission to provide first-class education, salon service and contribution to the socio-economic development of the youth. Below find a list of former and current students of Abranti College of Cosmetology. Brigitte Quarty Cosmetology Class of 2015 I just love Abranti College, they are very good in terms of hairdo, know how to relate to their client making them feel at home, in fact the best cosmetology school ever. Rita Godwin, Cosmetology Class of 2015 I love Abranti because they are really good in hair making. They also offer a warm welcome to their clients. Company Profile and Vision Established in 1986 by Nikki Boa Amponsum as a beauty and slimming salon, Second Image currently operates as a full-fledged beauty clinic committed to the provision of quality beauty and slimming services as well as training programs in the beauty industry in Ghana. As a full-service beauty clinic, Second Image International has since its inception groomed and treated hundreds of people, both men and women, of various skin and body conditions, permanently changing their lifestyles to their advantage. Our ultra-modern salon setups, 
Well-trained staff and excellent customer service are what you will experience at any of our salons. Second Image Hair and Beauty Therapy Academy is committed to preparing interested persons for exciting, successful careers in the cosmetology and beauty therapy and fashion industry. With almost 25 years of cumulative salon and teaching experience our staff will provide you with the educational experiences necessary to launch you into a career, which offers a multitude of opportunities. The students are taught to develop professional work habits and attitudes necessary to acquire and maintain employment skills and knowledge beyond the requirements to gain employment in the beauty industry. Second Image takes pride in the fact that we have trained many many successful salon owners or managers and stylists, as well as hairstyling and hair cutting competition winners. Our educational programs are constantly being updated through input from students, graduates, salon owners or managers and clients. The Academy is as a further education institute under the personal supervision of the principal and founder of Second Image, Nikki who is a fully qualified British trained health and beauty therapist. She owned and ran a beauty clinic in West Hampstead, London before relocating to Ghana. She studied biochemistry before branching into beauty therapy. She is also trained in the United States in advanced aesthetics and nail technology. Second Image holds a well-established reputation in beauty industry and is recognized for producing students of the highest caliber from its academy. Nikki is also the fitness instructress and has produced a fitness DVD presently on sale. She is also the founder of the Ghana Association of Beauty Therapists. She is the beauty editor for one Ghana's renowned social newspaper. At Second Image Academy, students' talents and capabilities are tapped, therefore giving them the confidence to become achievers and successful in their endeavors. The institute has an international reputation for providing a high standard of quality education, enabling students to attain recognized qualifications from beginner to postgraduate levels with which to practice hairdressing and beauty therapy. Nikki's commitment to the beauty profession over 20 years is demonstrated by her role as an examiner for other beauty collages, National Vocational Training Institute and London City and Guilds. Second Image Academy is also a recognized examination center for City and Guilds IVQ examinations in hairdressing, beauty therapy, fashion design, and telecommunications. The Academy is an NVTI and City and Guilds International approved centers for beauty therapy and hairdressing examinations. Courses offered can be summed up as follows. Opening hours Monday to Friday 7.30am to 7pm Saturdays 8am to 6pm Sundays closed. Our vision our objective is to become the leading technical and vocational training institute. Training girls and women across Africa the skills in beauty, hair, fashion and technology it is our mission at Second Image to provide our clients with the highest degree of customer service in a professional and unique setting. We are committed to performing our crafts exceptionally well and continually strive to improve ourselves in the areas of education and our skills, both within the salon setting and in the external profession beauty community. We continually search the industry marketplace for the newest technology and the finest in hair care, skin care, and nail care products in order to provide our clients with the utmost in the beauty care experience. Beauty Therapy Diploma Body Massage Certificate Advanced Makeup Diploma Facial Therapy Certificate Nail Technician Certificate Facial Electricals Hairdressing Certificate and Diploma Cosmetology Certificate and Diploma Grooming and Personal Enhancement Cutting and Styling Certificate Modeling Refresher Course in Hairdressing Diet Planning Permanent Makeup Foundation Fashion and Design Fashion and Design Diploma JACCD students are flawlessly prepped for leadership in the dynamic and ultra-competitive global fashion industry. Our rigorous curriculum is structured around principles of design, unbounded creativity and state-of-the-art technology. The JACCD fashion program has deep industry connections, and top fashion trendsetters visit and work with students frequently. With the tutelage of award-winning, experienced faculty and visiting mentors, you will master the full spectrum of fashion, from the conceptual to the commercial. Class schedule, morning class, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., afternoon class, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., evening class, 5 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., certificate in fashion design to one year. This program focuses on the technical aspect of fashion design. Students will learn sewing, sewing techniques, pattern drafting and garment construction. The goal of the certificate is to equip students with core skills in garment construction. Diploma in fashion design to two years. The diploma is focused on both technical and design skills. Students will learn sewing, sewing techniques, pattern drafting, draping, another technical construction course, drawing, digital design, fashion CAD programs and the Adobe Creative Suite, Photoshop, Illustrator, and Textile Design. There are three core courses in fashion design, in which students will learn the design process and apply the core technical skills. There is also a portfolio and internship course that is required. Degree in Fashion Design, BFA, four years, with specialization. The first two years of this program is much like the diploma program. In the third and fourth year, students are able to specialize in a core area of fashion design. Men's wear, women's wear, special occasions, children's wear, intimate apparel, sportswear.
there are additional technical courses and in the last semester, students design an entire fashion collection. This is the most comprehensive program in fashion design and it will prepare students for the global fashion industry. Our programs do not require any previous fashion experience. All of our programs are accredited by the National Accreditation Board and we are affiliated with University of Cape Coast. Admission requirements for SSSCE holders, six passes, ATOD, in all subjects, including English language and mathematics, and, at least, three, of the passes must be relevant to the area of specialization. WASI holders, six passes, A1 TOD 7, in all subjects, including English language and mathematics, and, must possess a minimum of C6 in any, three, of the passes relevant to the area of specialization. Applicants who satisfy the above requirements can gain direct admission to tertiary. Post-diploma candidates, a good diploma, a minimum of second-class lower division or better, obtained from the University of Cape Coast or equivalent institutions with at least, two, years post-qualification teaching slash working experience. All candidates must pass an interview. Admission requirements for certificate courses, SHS or higher to enter ITS will be accepted for only certificate upon taking a written exam. Admission procedures for all courses. To apply you would need to fully fill out our admission forms and submit them to JACCD these can be picked up at the school or downloaded and printed. To complete the application the form should be submitted with two passport pictures, copies of required certificates slash transcripts, SA, additional information, mature students above the age of 25 will need to take an in-house examination. Any mature student interested in enrolling should contact the school directly. JACCD accepts certifications from WEEK, WAS, SSCE and HND. All foreign certificates should be brought to the school. The school will then send these certificates for accreditation before determining the eligibility of the student for admission. This process will incur a fee of 100 CDs. Certificate program The certificate programs are for a period of one calendar year. Sessions are typically in August and in February. Forms cost 50 CDs. Diploma program The diploma program spans for two academic years. Sessions also typically commence in August slash September and February. Certification by UCC. Forms cost 80 CDs. Degree program The degree program is for four academic years. Sessions also typically commence in August slash September and February. Certification by UCC. Forms cost 80 CDs. Contact US. Joyce Ababio College of Creative Design. Address, PO. Box CT 1097. Telephone, 0302797471. Mobile, 0235682600. Choosing a college or a university is one of the most important decisions you will ever make in your academic life. This means that you have to do it right, otherwise you risk losing valuable time and money. While there are many factors to consider while choosing your ideal college, the most important factor is accreditation which translates to quality education. A college with sufficient resources provides quality education which certifies a graduate's credentials to employers. One such learning institution that meets all these criteria is Radford University College. It's not necessarily one of the cheapest universities in Ghana but they have affordable fees. Here is a guideline on the admission requirements, application process, fees and various certificate and degree courses offered at Radford University College. Most students miss out on admissions in most colleges because they are not well conversant with presenting a well-written college admission essay. This has posed a challenge to most students seeking admission in higher learning institutions. It is important to know the admission requirements of an institution. Therefore, this question arises, does Radford University require a college essay? The answer is not stated anywhere in their entry requirements. Radford University College Fees and Courses Wednesday, October 31st 2018 at 2.10 p.m. by Chris Ndate Choosing a college or a university is one of the most important decisions you will ever make in your academic life. This means that you have to do it right, otherwise you risk losing valuable time and money. While there are many factors to consider while choosing your ideal college, the most important factor is accreditation which translates to quality education. A college with sufficient resources provides quality education which certifies a graduate's credentials to employers. One such learning institution that meets all these criteria is Radford University College. It's not necessarily one of the cheapest universities in Ghana but they have affordable fees. Here is a guideline on the admission requirements, application process, fees and various certificate and degree courses offered at Radford University College. Most students miss out on admissions in most colleges because they are not well conversant with presenting a well-written college admission essay. This has posed a challenge to most students seeking admission in higher learning institutions. It is important to know the admission requirements of an institution. Therefore, this question arises, does Radford University require a college essay? The answer is not stated anywhere in their entry requirements. Read also UDS Access Course for Enrolled Nurses, Admission, 
Radford University College Application Guideline for First-Time Students Radford University College has made the application process for both local and international students so simple and easy. All you need to do is follow this straightforward guideline. Choose the course you want and start date. Download and fill the admission form. Remember to choose the right form for your course and category, whether local or international student. On the form, you need to attach certified copies of your results or certificate and two recent passport size photos. Submit or mail your completed form together with the correct amount of application fee in form of a banker's draft at the Radford University College campus. The application fee for local students is 80 CDs for certificate courses and 100 CDs for degree programs. On the other hand, international students are required to pay an application fee of $80 for degree courses and $70 for certificate courses. It has been proven that students learn faster and perform better in smaller classes. A class size of fewer than 35 students often results in more individual attention, increased participation, and better communication between the instructor and students. Naturally, by exposing students to a diverse range of opinions, thoughts, and cultural backgrounds, you're encouraging them to be more open-minded in life. This will make them open to new ideas and be able to attain a greater comprehension on a topic by taking in different points of view. Practical training is considered an important arena for learning and it emphasizes connections between theory and experience. All practical training is supervised and mentored and takes place in authentic professional classroom contexts. As part of their practical training within the study program, student teachers will carry out Explore our undergraduate programs Fashion Applied Health Graphic Design Applied Science Business Administration and join our course and start building yourself for the most wanted careers available today. We make sure every class is easily understood, and that all students reach the same level of expertise needed for today's high-tech industry. Founded in 1995 as St. Abbey's Training Center, became Abbey Creation School of Fashion in the year 2000 when Mr. Chester NEPR Printex Ghana Limited and CEO Potpourri Production discovered Mrs. Abigail Keir, principal of Abbey Creation, for the Printex fashion shows in the year 2000 UBA Show 200 O, Tate Toa So Show 2001, Ye Atina SE Show 2002, with the creations from St. Abbey's taking center stage hence the name Abbey Creation emerged. As a fashion school Abbey Creation School of Fashion prepares students for entry-level careers in fashion design, event decoration, interior decoration, communication arts graphic design, footwear, accessories, design, and bridal fashions by providing a challenging and stimulating educational environment. The Abbey Creation School of Fashion is a private campus with hostels for creative professional studies. We prepare students to have a global perspective of the fashion industry by providing an educational environment consistent with evolving technologies and the global marketplace. Our success is measured by our ability to provide a curriculum that integrates conceptual, analytical, and technical skills, offer education by qualified professionals and assist and prepare students for career entry, placement, and growth in their respective fields. The Abbey Creation School of Fashion has a rich tradition of excellence in preparing students for careers by providing a challenging educational environment that responds to changing technologies and the needs of the marketplace. The college is proud of its history of providing graduates with the creative and technical skills demanded by today's employers in Africa and beyond. Vision to be the dominant fashion and merchandising college in Ghana and beyond training students to be creative and innovative professional fashion merchants and fashion entrepreneurs who will affect the world fashion industry with Christian virtues. Mission. ACFC-focused curriculum integrates creative and entrepreneurial skills to develop e-fashion merchants for Ghana and beyond for the global fashion, interior design, events management and planning industry. Professionals who have the skills, demonstrates an awareness of cultural diversity in fashion and posses the fear of God to affect the world of fashion with Christian virtues. Abbey Creation students have the opportunity hands-on learning, and close relationships with faculty and staff. Our part-time and full-time faculty bring solid academic credentials, as well as a wealth of experience in their fields, to the task of assisting students in developing the competencies required for each course. With a student-faculty ratio that gives students the opportunity for personal attention from faculty. Abbey Creation School of Fashion Our Programs Fees Fashion and Design Footwear Design Event Decoration Beauty and Cosmetology TV Production First semester's tuition equals 1,400 CDs Registration equals 500 CDs Items and Supply equals 500 CDs Total equals 2,400 CDs Second semester's fees equals 1,000 CDs Greater than Bridal Fashion Specialization First semester's tuition equals 1,600 Ghana CDs Registration equals 500 CDs Items and supply equals 800 CDs Total equals 2,900 Ghana CDs Second semester's fees equals 1,000 Ghana CDs Greater than foreign students Tuition equals $1,100 One year greater than bridal specialization equals $1,400 One year Fees are paid in Ghana CD equivalent all fees are subject to change our requirements professional certificate programs, two years, BECE, 
will be required to go through a special preparatory class to be able to start the course SSCE, WAS, GCE level and NVTI. One to two years experience in dressmaking or tailoring. Mature students 18 years and above who can demonstrate satisfactory aptitude to undertake a fashion course. Certificate program must have the passion for fashion. Be able to read and write. Our classes hours weekdays Monday to Friday 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Evening classes M own day to Friday 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Weekend Saturdays Vogue 9 a.m. an American to monthly fashion and lifestyle magazine that covers many topics, including haute couture fashion, beauty, culture, living, and runway. Based at One World Trade Center in the financial district of Lower Manhattan, Vogue began in 1892 as a weekly newspaper before becoming a monthly magazine years later. Since its founding, Vogue has featured numerous actors, musicians, models, athletes, and other prominent celebrities. The largest issue published by Vogue magazine was the September 2012 edition, containing 900 pages. The British Vogue, launched in 1916, was the first international edition, while the Italian version Vogue Italia has been called the top fashion magazine in the world. As of today, there are 26 international editions. History Edit, 1892-1905, Early Years Edit Arthur Baldwin Turner, an American businessman, founded Vogue as a weekly newspaper based in New York City, sponsored by Christopher Wright, with its first issue on December 17, 1892. The first issue was published with a cover price of 10 cents, equivalent to $3.02 in 2021. Turner's intention was to create a publication that celebrated the ceremonial side of life, one that attracts the sage as well as debutante, men of affairs, as well as the bell and quad. From its inception the magazine targeted the new New York upper class, recounting their habits, their leisure activities, their social gatherings, the places they frequented, and the clothing they wore, and everyone who wanted to look like them and enter their exclusive circle in quad. The magazine at this time was primarily concerned with fashion, with coverage of sports and social affairs included for its male readership. Growth was slow during this initial period, 1905 to 1920. Condé Nast edit Condé Montrose Nast purchased Vogue in 1909, three years after Turner's death, and he gradually grew the publication. Nast changed it to a women's magazine, and started Vogue editions overseas in the 1910s. Its price was also raised. The magazine's number of publications and profit increased dramatically under Nast's management. It continued to target an upscale audience and expanded into the coverage of weddings. According to Condé Nast Russia, when the First World War made deliveries in the Old World impossible, printing began in England. The decision to print in England proved successful, causing Nast to release the first issue of French Vogue in 1920. Vogue 1908 Vogue 1914 Vogue 1928 Alf de Meyer Vogue Illustration 1920 Vogue 1926 Illustration 1926 1920 to 1970 Expansion edit the magazine's number of subscriptions surged during the Great Depression and again during World War II. During this time, noted critic and former Vanity Fair editor Frank Crowninshield served as its editor, having been moved over from Vanity Fair by publisher Condé Nast. In July 1932, American Vogue placed its first color photograph on the cover of the magazine. The photograph was taken by photographer Edward Jean Steichen and portrayed a woman swimmer holding a beach ball in the air. Laird Borelli notes that Vogue led the decline of fashion illustration in the late 1930s, when it began to replace its illustrated covers, by artists such as Dagmar Freuken, with photographic images. Nast was responsible for introducing color printing and the two-page spread in quad. He has been credited with turning Vogue into a successful business and the women's magazine we recognize today having substantially increased sales volumes until his death in 1942. In the 1950s, the decade known as the magazine's powerful years, Jessica Daves became editor-in-chief. As Rebecca C. Toot has noted, Daves led a quiet charge for excellence during one of the most challenging, transformative, and rich decades in the magazine's history. Daves believed that taste is something that can be taught and learned, and she edited Vogue with the conviction that it should be a vehicle to educate public taste and quiet. While fashion coverage remained a priority, Daves also elevated the written content of American Vogue, particularly championing more robust arts and literature features. The Daves era of Vogue came to an end in 1962, when Diana Vreeland joined the magazine, first as associate editor, and then, following Daves's departure in December 1962, as editor-in-chief. The pair had diametrically opposed approaches to editing Vogue. Daves famously declared, I respect fashion, it is exciting, but I am annoyed at people who treat it as a joke, who constantly take sledgehammers to it it's a very serious business. Quad. On the other hand, Vreeland believed, as she once told art director Alexander Lieberman, it's only entertainment, and conversely led the magazine into a period of youth and vitality, but also extravagance, and luxury and excess. In, quad. in the 1960s, with Diana Vreeland as editor-in-chief and personality, 
The magazine began to appeal to the youth of the sexual revolution by focusing more on contemporary fashion and editorial features that openly discuss sexuality. Toward this end, Vogue extended coverage to include East Village boutiques such as Limbo on St. Mark's Place, as well as including features of downtown personalities such as Andy Warhol's superstar Jane Holzer's favorite haunts. Vogue also continued making household names out of models, a practice that continued with Susie Parker, Twiggy, Jean Shrimpton, Lauren Hutton, Varushka, Marissa Berenson, Penelope Tree, and others. In 1973, Vogue became a monthly publication. Under editor-in-chief Grace Mirabella, the magazine underwent extensive editorial and stylistic changes to respond to changes in the lifestyles of its target audience. Mirabella states that she was chosen to change Vogue because women weren't interested in reading about or buying clothes that served no purpose in their changing lives. Quad. She was selected to make the magazine appeal to the free, working, liberated woman of the 70s. She changed the magazine by adding text with interviews, arts coverage, and serious health pieces. When that type of stylistic change fell out of favor in the 1980s, Mirabella was fired. Well-known fashion photographers were Erwin Blumenfeld, 1897-1969 Cecil Beaton, 1904-1980 Horst P. Horst, 1906-1999 Regina Relang, 1906-1989 Irving Penn, 1917-2009 Henry Clark, 1917-1996 Richard Abaddon, 1923-2004 Peter Lindbergh, 1944-2019. In July 1988, after Vogue had begun to lose ground to three-year-old upstart L, Anna Winter was named editor-in-chief. Noted for her trademark bob cut and sunglasses, Winter sought to revitalize the brand by making it younger and more approachable. She directed the focus towards new and accessible concepts of fashion for a wider audience. Winter's influence allowed the magazine to maintain its high circulation, while staff discovered new trends that a broader audience could conceivably afford. For example, the inaugural cover of the magazine under Winter's editorship featured a three-quarter length photograph of Michaela Berku, an Israeli model, wearing a bejeweled Christian Lacroix jacket and a pair of jeans, a departure from her predecessor's tendency to portray a woman's face alone. According to the New York Times, this gave greater importance to both her clothing and her body and quad. As fashion editor Grace Coddington wrote in her memoirs, the cover endorsed a democratic new high-slash-low attitude to dressing, added some youthful but sophisticated raciness, and garnished it with a dash of confident energy and drive that implied getting somewhere fast. It was quintessential Anna. Throughout her reign at Vogue, Winter accomplished her goals to revitalize the magazine and oversaw production of some of its largest editions. The September 2012 edition measured 916 pages, the highest ever for a monthly magazine. Winter continues to be American Vogue's editor-in-chief to this day. The contrast of Winter's vision with that of her predecessors was noted as striking by observers, both critics and defenders. Amanda Fortini, fashion and style contributor for Slate, argues that her policy has been beneficial for Vogue, delivering it from what some critics had termed its boring beige years. Among Condé Nast executives, there was worry that the grand dame of fashion publications was losing ground to L, which in just three years had reached a paid circulation of 851,000 compared to Vogue's 1.2 million. Thus, Condé Nast publisher C. Newhouse brought in the 38-year-old Winter, who through editor-in-chief positions at British Vogue and House and & Garden, had become known not only for her cutting-edge visual sense, but also for her ability to radically revamp a magazine to shake things up. Although she has had a strong impact on the magazine, throughout her career, Winter has been pinned as being cold and difficult to work with. In an article on Biography.com, Winter admits that she is very driven by what she does, and has said I am certainly very competitive. I like people who represent the best at what they do, and if that turns you into a perfectionist then maybe I am. United Kingdom 2000, Kate Moss Vogue Taiwan 2021, Lalisa Manoban Compilation of Vogue Magazines at Textile Museum and Documentation Center, Terrassa, Spain. As of the October 2022 issue, 10 men have been featured on the cover of the American Editing. Richard Gere, with Cindy Crawford in November 1992 George Clooney, with Giselle Bündchen in June 2000 LeBron James, with Giselle Bündchen in April 2008 Ryan Lochte, with Hope Solo and Serena Williams in June 2012 Kanye West, with Kim Kardashian in March 2014 Ben Stiller, with Penelope Cruz in February 2016 Ashton Eaton, with Gigi Hadid in August 2016 Zayn Malik, with Gigi Hadid in August 2017 Justin Bieber, with Haley Baldwin in March 2019 Harry Styles, in December 2020. Our story writers originate was founded in 2010 by Richard Ohini Sika a fashion designer, singer, poet and talents manager, with Sarah Huang a fashion designer are the driving forces behind numerous citizen-centered educational initiatives. Richard's original vision was to offer the general public the chance to take high-quality arts courses by distance learning, without prior qualifications or restrictions. 
He saw Rios as a means of transforming people's lives, giving them the opportunity and skills to express their creative talents under the guidance of professional artists. We still live by those values. By our mission, we deliver a totally integrated creative design service slash training inspired by our groundbreaking creative ideas which will help achieve excellent results from our students. We try to instill in our students character building so they grow into confident courageous team players and positively provocative thinkers. Today Rios Originate is a thriving creativity enhancement institution whose charitable purpose is to widen participation in arts education. Countless students each year now study creative and visual arts by open learning with us. Rios strategy is determined by excellent directors of operations. Our head office and training atelier is located on the Bloom Street of Javulu, Accra where all of our tutors are ever present to aid our students. Why choose Rios at Rios? We are specialists in creative arts service and education. We have a thriving community of students studying an inspiring range of subjects including fashion design, concept development, fashion illustration, graphic design, music and dance, comedy and painting, poetry and millinery. We provide services and training for individuals slash organizations that value their image, style, color and insist on promptness, accuracy and consistency. All our courses are delivered through part-time open learning with the support of experienced tutors who are also practicing artists, writers, photographers, visual communicators or musicians. Our flexible recruitment approach means you can start studying with Rio straight away. Our enrollment dates are twice a year January and June spanning over a six-month period, so you can fit your studies around your life. A real bonus is that our fees are about a third of those charged by traditional universities. What's more, you can study with us whilst carrying on with existing commitments such as part-time employment, or family-slash-career responsibilities. You can pay fees as you go or in double installments. You can enroll online at any time. If you have any questions and want to talk to one of our advice team about any aspect of studying with us, just give us a call, 0302760535 or 0248323669. Academics at Rios, we offer a six-month training course in fashion design and fashion illustration. This is followed by a three-month internship with Rios after which graduates will be awarded merit-based certificates to seal the course completion. Weekday class schedule Mondays to Thursday 9 a.m., 1 00 p.m. 1 hour lecture 3 hours practical. Evening class schedule Mondays to Thursday 6.30 p.m., 9 00 p.m. 30 minutes lecture 2 hours practical. Weekend class schedule Saturdays only 9 00 a.m. 5 colon 00 p.m. 2 hours lecture 6 hours practical. Upcoming courses picture making millinery poetry music and dance concept development graphic design. Admission requirements Admission is open to all students who in the school's opinion will benefit from a challenging, self-absorbing, intriguing, yet very participatory training. Rios therefore will admit only students whose technical, personal, social as well as emotional needs can be met by the institute's program outline. Prospective students must be ready for new challenges and be just as willing to be at their creative best at all periods. Transparency of admission require month institutes admissions and procedure will be published widely and made readily available to all prospective students. Fee payment details tuition, weekend, 2000 Ghana CDs. Tuition, weekday, 2000 Ghana CDs. Payment can be made in two installments. 1600 Ghana CDs, 80%, at the beginning of the course with the remainder being paid at the beginning of the second month prompt. Contact, email, info at Rios Originate. Com phone number, 0302760535 or 0248323669 location. Bachelor Long of Street. Science in Fashion Design. Fashion Design is a four years full-time, university-affiliated degree program that aims to create a responsible designer who will serve the country and society by innovation, education, technology and research. Students will be expected to showcase their collection of designs at fashion shows organized by the college at the end of each semester. This degree is affiliated to the University of Education, Winneba, course contents and modules. Some of the specialized modules offered in this program are Fashion Designing Fashion Drawing Accessories Design Garment Construction Computer Aided Design Fashion Merchandising Fashion Forecasting Date of Establishment 2014 Location across.